If you're anything like me, your enthusiasm for guns comes from video games, let's be honest. But as soon as you start getting familiar with the real world thing, you realize there's something wrong with suppressors in video games. Here are three things that video games get wrong about suppressors. <laughs> You'd think that one of the three issues I have is that a lot of people call this a silencer, and you'd be wrong. That's pretty much common knowledge, that these are clearly suppressing the sound, it's just that people name them silencers. You can still hear the gun going off, and it is quiet, but it's not silent. So that is not, surprisingly, one of the issues that I have about video games. Once I purchased one of these, these three issues really caused me some trouble. Let's get right into it. Issue number one, bullet drop. While Call of Duty has most of the transgressions on this list, this one comes from my love for Battlefield, specifically Battlefield 3. When you watch a sniper rifle shooting from a long distance, you see that the bullet drops. But when you add a suppressor to that sniper rifle, the bullet drops even greater. Is that real life? No. Here's one of the simplest reasons why. This is on a pistol, not a rifle, but this is on my pistol, the standard barrel. When you compare it to the suppressed pistol barrel, you see that it's slightly longer. What you find out is with the rifling and the extended length, it gives the bullet longer distance to travel through and the powder longer time to burn and push that bullet out faster. Faster bullets do not drop quicker. Hypothetically, if that barrel was an infinite length, and you shot a bullet through it, at some point friction and, and the amount of powder you put behind it can't push it through an infinitely long barrel. It would stop at some point. But you're saying, oh, well what about the barrel or what about the internals of the suppressor? Fortunately, it's filled with little baffles. Those baffles are not designed to touch the bullet. They would affect the travel of the bullet and of course, like a video game, slow it down. They simply try and capture the air going around and the, and the gases going around the bullet. Between each baffle, they actually recycle the air in a way that pushes the bullet out further. It's a one to 3% increase in velocity because of the extended barrel length, as well as this. It is, I would say nominal, but it's still faster. It is not slower. The second issue is recoil. What you're going to start noticing is these issues aren't about realism. Well, obviously video games are supposed to be fun, but they're also supposed to be balanced. A suppressor adds benefits, and recoil is actually one of them. Your mass, the amount of mass that a gun, especially a pistol in this case, has is additional weight. What does that mean? When you shoot a bullet, the mass of this is going to keep the gun more in position, in, in, in position and stationary. Obviously it still kicks up a little bit, but you can see here at our gun range footage that the gun is less likely to raise, less likely to react to the bullet coming out the front, because you know, it's Newton's what third law, equal and opposite reaction, that if a bullet is going out with this much mass and velocity, that the gun has to react with way more mass and way less velocity. Add more mass, the gun reacts less. Nice and simple physics there. Not only that, the suppressor itself has a spring, has a system built into it that will actually recoil compensate, or in, in other words, compensate for the recoil right in the middle of the gun. And the third and final issue, which is probably the most controversial to me, is damage. Damage is an odd term to use in a video game when you're trying to compare it to real life. It makes sense on the screen. You see that it takes so many shots to put your opponent down. A headshot or a couple body shots and you've now got somebody you can teabag. In real life, it's a little different. There are real physics involved. When you talk about a bullet, when you're talking about damage, you're talking about two major things. The bullet's energy and its design, which the design, of course, is kind of fixed. You're shooting something and how it reacts once it hits a target is the bullet's design. But in a video game, we're focusing more on its energy. Energy is simply mass of the bullet times the velocity. Well, the mass of the bullet's gonna stay the same for both a suppressed or non-suppressed pistol or rifle. So it's just the velocity again. We're coming back down to the same basics. A suppressor increases marginally, but increases the velocity of a bullet. So it 
at the end of the day, a suppressor would increase the damage of a gun. The part that people don't believe or find it hard to believe is that the headlights are from a Nissan 300Z. Now, is that true or is it not true? 